Shalom Eastern Shore. I'm Rabbi David Tokajer with Congregation Maim Chaim, the Eastern Shore's Messianic Synagogue, and I'm bringing you your daily dose of living water. We are rapidly approaching Passover. As a matter of fact, the first night of Passover and when most of the Jewish world will be observing Passover seders is this Wednesday evening, April the 8th at sundown. I have seen a lot of memes floating around social media referencing the irony of observing Passover, a memorial of when God rescued Israel from slavery in Egypt through a series of plagues while a global plague rages around us. This will certainly be a very different Passover, far different from anything I have ever experienced. Congregation Maim Chaim was founded in the fall of 2011, and this will be the very first year in our existence that we will not be having a large community Seder. Passover Seders, synagogue and church services, even Easter services are being completely flipped upside down as everything is being done virtually because we can't gather in groups of more than 10. This is also a year in which the church's celebration of Resurrection Sunday falls on the right day in relation to the Passover, three days and three nights after the day the lamb would be slaughtered, the period of time in which the death, burial, and resurrection of Yeshua occurred. It is very easy to get caught up in the fact that what we are generally used to experiencing during this time of year is not going to be business as usual. It is very easy to focus on the sadness and sorrow of not being able to gather with family and friends to observe the Seder and follow through the Haggadah together, or to join in great rejoicing with our congregations and big event halls and hotel banquets uh, to do the same. It is very easy to get hung up on the fact that how the resurrection is normally commemorated has suddenly and drastically shifted. But it is far more important to focus on the positives of what will be happening. Think about the thousands upon thousands of believers who will be able to participate in their very first Seder, interacting with the symbolism and events that point to Yeshua as our sacrifice lamb immediately before Resurrection Sunday, and will be able to appreciate an even deeper experience. Think about the thousands upon thousands of Jewish people who will be able to hear the prophetic reality of the events of Passover pointing not only to freedom from bondage in Egypt, but freedom in Messiah from bondage to sin, from death to life. Think about the sudden exponential reach of the good news of Messiah Yeshua that will be shared through virtual worship experiences in ways that we could not have imagined even a year ago. It is so easy to wallow in the sorrow of what we don't have but it is a significantly amazing blessing to be able to rejoice in what we see God doing in the midst of this storm and cleave to God's promises seen in the four cups of the Passover Seder based out of Exodus 6, 6 through 7. First is the cup of sanctification. I will bring you out from under the burdens of the Egyptians, the cup of deliverance. I will rescue you from their bondage, the cup of redemption. I will redeem you with an outstretched arm in the cup of praise, I will take you as my people and I will be your God. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob and his word is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Shalom.